I want to inform you that the Ministry of Health has confirmed the first coronavirus case in Kenya. The case was confirmed on the 12th, which was last night, as the first one to be reported in Kenya since the beginning of the outbreak in China. The case is a Kenya citizen who traveled back to Nairobi, returning from the United States of America via London, United Kingdom, on the 5th of March, 2020. She was confirmed positive by the National Influenza Center Laboratory at the National Public Health Laboratories of the Ministry of Health. I would like to add here, however, the patient is stable. She is, her temperature has gone down to normal. She is behaving normally. She is eating, but she cannot be released until the test continue, until she gets negative. But as far as uh, her state is concerned, the lady is okay. And therefore, there is really no need for alarm in our nation. The government of Kenya, through the Ministry of Health, continues to strengthen measures to ensure no further transmission of the disease in Kenya. The National Emergency Response Committee on Coronavirus Preparedness and response will continue to provide strategic leadership working through whole government approach to respond to this case in the implementation of mitigation measures. I wish to assure all Kenyans that we have been beefing up our preparedness capacities since the first confirmation cases in China. The government will use all available resources to respond to this case. The government has traced all the contacts of the patient since her arrival in Kenya. Kenyans are reminded that most people who become infected may experience only mild illness and recover easily. But the disease can be more severe in others, especially the elderly persons, and other, others with chronic illnesses. Considering that the disease has now been classified as a pandemic, I have, as Minister for Health, invoked the Public Health Act. I therefore urge all Kenyans to observe the following. Number one, is to regularly and thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water or use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Maintain a distance of at least one meter, about five feet, between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Persons with a cough or sneeze should stay at home or keep a social distance, but avoid mixing with others in a crowd. Maintain good respiratory hygiene by covering your mouth and nose while coughing and sneezing with a handkerchief, tissue, or flexed elbow. Stay at home if you feel unwell with symptoms like fever, cough, and difficulties in breathing. We have suspended all public gatherings, meetings, religious crusades, games, and all events that are of a huge public nation. No more church services can go on, provided that they provide sanitizing and hand washing as people go into the worshiping areas. We have suspended all inter-school events in other words, school-to-school, athletic school-to-school events, but the schools at this moment 
remain open. Public transport providers are directed to provide hard sanitizers for their clients and regular cleaning of their vehicles. Let me add here that this is something we arrived at in consultation with the public uh, transport um, uh, people. There was, there was a meeting between the CS for transport. He's going to talk into that about matatos and so on. Um, and uh, we are very pleased that they themselves say they are willing to do everything, including putting in their own money to ensure that uh, people traveling in public transport are safe. We have suspended all visits to prisons for the next 30 days. We have also said, and we, we have repeated this before, we are repeating this, Kenyans must not abuse social media platforms or indulge in spreading misinformation that can cause fear and panic. We have placed travel restrictions outside the country unless absolutely necessary. And in any event, no travel at all to the uh, areas, to the disease epicenter countries. And further on, we are going to be disseminating information on this issue on a daily basis. As I said, we have embarked on a contact tracing for all persons who have been in contact with the lady who we have, who is now in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Kenyatta. Uh, but I also want to add, ladies and gentlemen, that at this juncture, what we have is a corona virus positive test. No more than that. Therefore, Kenyans will live normally. Wherever you are going, go normally. Do carry out your, your business normally. Go to the shopping center normally. And there is no cause for alarm. So I wish also to add that uh, going forward, there will be some inconveniences that uh, citizens are going to experience. We apologize in advance. But this is one time when we are calling for serious citizen responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a situation where people look just at the government. This is a situation where people take responsibility. The business and private sector are urged to take their bit in terms of working with Kenyans in all areas, some business organizations may provide the uh, hand washing points. Business pro uh, businesses may also put uh, thermal scanners in their offices so that as people walk in, it is, uh, uh, you, they can scan you and know whether your temperature is okay. We are also uh, releasing um, rapid response units so that if anybody has a problem, there, is a, there are mobile units that can come and assist people who are, who are suspected of having this um, disease. But at the moment, let me keep on emphasizing, at the moment, there is absolutely no need for panic or worry, provided we keep on observing the measures that uh, we have set, observing personal hygiene, I am urging county governments to carry out thorough, thorough cleaning exercises. And this is why I'm saying citizens in groups, in colleges, and the county governments can, can now begin to a, a serious education process, even at the lowest levels. The Ministry of Health has a team throughout, effective today, which is the 15th. Today is when we were launching all level four and level five hospitals. This, the, the, the areas where we are going to be, where we have been put aside, the isolation, the isolation wards that we are going to keep in every level four and level five hospital across the country. And the support for that activity is being given directly from the Ministry of Health.
So in terms of funding, we have provided sufficient funding, both from the Kenya government and the World Bank. And this is not a situation where we are panicking. We have got sufficient capacity. We have got sufficient um, gear, protective gear for all our workers. We have got uh, the necessary transportation mechanisms. We have got um, ambulances ready. So we are set. Obviously, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, there will be hiccups. Nothing can ever be 100%. So there will be hiccups, and when that happens, we ask for understanding rather than a massive criticism on the small things that are going wrong. This is a time for us all to come together as a nation, both media and all other sectors of our, of our country. This is not a time for us to assign blame. The government is doing everything it can. This is a time for us to join together and make Kenya safe and ensure that this pandemic does not uh, damage our nation. Those in the business sector, there will be shortages of certain items because of the closure of China. We are urging you, please, this is not the time to start making abnormal profits by charging abnormal prices for medicines and for goods and services. It is immoral. It would be immoral for anybody to take advantage of a situation like this one. Let us all work together. Let us all be together. And together, moving like that, we are sure that we will overcome. This is not the only challenge that our country has faced. We have faced many challenges before. We have overcome them. And even this one, we will overcome. Thank you very much.